at Denver Auto Show, we got the brand new Santa Fe XRT. This one's in all black, and I have not been a big fan of the the redesign of this vehicle, but this XRT actually is more appealing than any I've seen before. This one also, they've got some of the features on here, like a rooftop tent and a canoe, but all blacked out. This one coming in as $42,000 for the XRT, and you can see it lines up right in the middle of the lineup. Um, coming around, checking out all the blacked out wheels, blacked out trim, there's no chrome on this vehicle. And uh, are you guys good in the front seat? Okay, so coming in the front seat, check out this driver's seat. Take a seat in here. Got the Hyundai dual display, so you got the infotainment, digital display cluster. Kind of interesting what we got here, good dual charging mats and your cup holders. Center console opens up there. And then you've got your HVAC system, but it actually has another screen right here that I'm not sure what it displays typically, but it's off right now. And then you've got this, you can switch between whether you want your phone to connect data with data or just with um, power if you're just looking to charge your phone but you don't want Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to take place. Upper glove box, lower glove, glove box, and then there's actually a shelf. You can throw your phone and stuff on that shelf right there. Just a regular sunroof here, not a panoramic. Interesting steering wheel, which I actually kind of, it's kind of unique, the steering wheel. You've got your cruise control buttons, your phone buttons, and then Looks like there's a speaker built in up here as well for your sound system. Let's take a look at the back. Coming back here, back seat. It's a three row SUV, so this competes in the realm of the Kia Telluride. This is the sibling to the Kia Telluride. This is Hyundai's version of it. And then you've got the Ford Explorer, the Honda, pilot vehicles like that in its class it's a pretty comfortable car overall I think well this actually you can open center console from the front or from the rear which is kind of cool it's got a slide out storage tray here as well seat back storage yeah I think this is a pretty comfortable back seat plenty of headroom up here plenty of leg room as well let's get the center plenty of leg room for the the rear passenger you got vents on the pillars on the b post which is really nice for the back passengers here and then you can fold the back seat down slides forward and you've got the rear seat which can fold down for more storage in the rear to give you a, a little better because you don't have a significant amount of storage in the rear with those seats up, but probably, I don't know if you could fit, probably do all right for a quick trip there. You wouldn't want to spend a lot of time there. Then you can just slide those back. This vehicle has a unique feature here where you actually push this in, this becomes a handle. So you can step, you can step on the wheel, grab the handle, and then get up to your rooftop to be able to access whatever you got, your storage, your canoe, all those different features. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle, this is where we saw that your storage is compromised by the rear seat if it's up. If you get down, you get a decent amount of space there for your rear cargo. Easy to fold those down. You can fold them back up. Just pulling on this lever, flip it back up, really nice. Power lift gate. And this is where I, this is my least favorite part of the Santa Fe. I think the rear looks really unique and odd. So you have these weird tail lights that look like an H for Hyundai, I'm sure. But they're really low 
it's just like a, the car flows and then it just like flat back it just like cuts off the rear of the vehicle and you get this very boxy shaped rear but that's how you get more storage but as you can see this one's equipped with a Thule rooftop tent so you do have that ability to have a camping tent on the top and that's what they're marketing this as is someone who would go off-road and be out in an adventure but kind of a cool car like I said this XRT looks better than any of the other Santa Fe's I've seen and all blacked out I think it looks pretty pretty slick headlights are also in the form of an H just like the rear tail lights so that's the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe